Today I'm going to guide you in a meditative art experience. Before we begin, be sure to grab your materials and find a quiet spot where you feel relaxed. Today we will begin by focusing on your breath. Close your eyes. Picture the air filling your lungs, giving life to your body. Imagine the air reaching all the way to your toes and to your fingers. Feel the energy that the air is filling your body with. Now focus on your toes. Are they touching anything? Are you maybe rubbing your toes in a soft carpet? Maybe you're wearing socks. Maybe you're barefoot. Flex your toes, wiggle them, feel them. and then slowly moving away from your toes and focus on your feet. When you breathe in, imagine the air filling your entire body and reaching all the way to your feet and your toes. And then move to your legs, how long they are, how strong they are. and continue in this matter till you reach the center of yourself. Moving from your fingers to your wrists. To your arms. reach our lungs and our heart. How do you feel in this moment? What is on your mind? What are you thinking about? God, thank you. I pray about my impatience and anxiety. 
calm me and steady me. Amen. Today's passage comes from Luke 12, verses 27 through 28. Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? The next time that you hear the passage, imagine you're a lily in a field. The freedom of swaying in the wind, soaking in the brilliant sun, feel the heat, maybe the dew. Remember that you are God's creation and God provides for us so that we can be this free. Luke 12, verses 27 through 28. Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? What does that verse bring to mind to you? How did you hear God in this passage? We will begin painting the background for our lily using a combination of phthalo green and black paint. Cover the entire canvas with a large flat brush. As you're doing this, think about the things that prevent you from enjoying life as God intended. What is stressing you and overwhelming you? What's giving you anxiety? Let each stroke represent these things that you want to lay down to God. What burdens can he lift from your shoulders? Notice the white of the canvas being covered by the dark colors and how quickly the paint covers the canvas. Just like this paint, these anxieties and stresses can quickly overwhelm us. We remember that through the power of Christ, we can overcome and rejoice. Rejoice that God loves you Above all other creation, he loves you. God doesn't want our lives to be as hectic and stressful as they are. He has given us everything we need to feel loved and nourished. 
Take a moment to think about how God nourishes you. Next, we will add in lots of light green and yellow with any tool you would like. Enjoy the childlike play. Mix the green and yellow into the background, making weird shapes, blobs, lines. Let your body move. Maybe you want to use a string or maybe even your fingers. Feel the energy of God move through you, the life that he has blessed us with. Think about what he provides for you and how you are thankful. It's easy to let our everyday responsibilities and tasks get in the way of the person God knows you are. Let God's light shine through you and be thankful. Dear God, I come before you to lay down my panic and anxiety at your feet. When I am crushed by my fears and worries, remind me of your power and your grace. Fill me with your peace as I trust in you, the God who provides for the lilies in the field, the birds in the sky. For I know God is good and he will provide for me. Amen. Amen.